similar to Airstream, where they're very, um, very much a handcrafted product, we're not a commodity-driven process. Uh, everything we do has got a lot of hands touching it, but that's the nature of what we do. We're very customized. Uh, we automate where we can, but there, it's hard to replace the human eye and the human hand to um, etch the product, and in particular our decorating, which is very unique to what we do with the pen fill and a lot of the, the rub operations and the highlighting that we do. Um, those are some skills that uh, are very similar to a tool and die maker uh, or, or people that have been in an industry for a very long time. Our production process simplified would be like this, where we begin with a blueprint from the customer that tells us what they want the part to look like, and uh, we create the artwork from that. That turns into a piece of film, which is then transposed onto the metal itself. The metal then goes into the etching process and it's chemically etched. All the recessed areas that are painted are etched away into the etching process. Once that's completed, we come back out of the etching room. Uh, the part is deflawed and prepped for paint. It then goes through the painting process. Uh, then it goes through a sanding operation and clear coating. And the, as the final stage, we go through inspection and the part is shipped off to the customer. The sheet is weighed before it goes into the etch machine, and then it's weighed when it comes back out. That difference is calculated. We know that that put X amount of ounces into the bath, and that bath can accumulate about 350 to 400 ounces of zinc before it's going to go bad. So when they get to that 300 ounce area in the bath, they start looking at those sheets a lot closer. They start getting grainy and getting wide, then it's time to dump that bath. One of the items that we're most proud of is our uh, wastewater treatment system. We wanted to make sure that we provided an environmentally safe process and we just made the decision to go ahead and treat our own waste in the facility here. Uh, all of our wastewater is treated here. It's approved by the EPA and sent back to the city as clean water. Sustainability is the word that you'll hear the most often when it comes to uh, green initiatives but we also feel it's environmentally the right thing to do. Uh, we treat all of our own hazardous waste. We have no outbound hazardous waste. Uh, when we're done treating what we have, the process water is sent to the city. Um, and these are the kinds of things that will allow the company to be around uh, for a very long time. Uh, and Airstream is similar in the fact that when they, as they've evolved as a company, when they're building new buildings and new processes, they also are looking towards ways to become more environmentally sustainable. Everyone's an inspector here, not just the final inspection team. If they see a, a problem, they're allowed to stop the job. We have a reprint rework process that uh, we use that can uh, take parts back upstream and uh, get it reworked or get it reprinted in, in the case where it's uh, just at a point where it can't be reworked. So they all have the liberty to do that. We collect the reprint rework forms and that becomes our data collection for continuous improvement and we review those every month. In particular for the Airstream product, we have a lot of hands-on operations where it takes people with specific skills to do those operations. Uh, not everyone can do the pen fill operation where we're dropping the paints into the, the zones where they want the additional colors. Uh, we, not everyone can do the deflow operation in the, in the paint prep. So uh, it takes a lot of uh, skilled employees. I think Vision Mark and Airstream are very similar in the fact that we're highly customized. Um, I joke that Airstream is the Harley Davidson of RVs because they have such a cult following. Um, we're kind of an old school manufacturer, we're not a commodity based uh, manufacturer of nameplates and labels and it, it fits well with their, they're more of a high end uh, builder of RVs and we're more on the expensive side of nameplates but highly customized, highly, uh, very high quality. Uh, but both camper and nameplate are the kind of product that, are, that last a very long time uh, as opposed to other processes and other uh, competitors.